In this illustration, we intend to simulate explosion in shaped charge warhead in the Abacus software. As you observe in the picture, the warhead is composed of explosive material and liner and the detonator that has been displayed by red color. In this question, the explosive material is the composition B and the composition B is a compound of RDX and TNT. The liner has the shape of a hollow cone and the angle of the tip of cone is 100 degrees. The copper liner is initially in the form of a hollow cone which after explosion appears in the form of a long and thin rod at high speed that can penetrate all kinds of armor and alloys. In fact, after the explosion, the pressure behind the liner increases to such an extent that the liner is thrown at a very high speed. In this picture, you can observe the formation of liner during the process of the detonation in which the initial shape of liner is hollow, conical, and its final shape is like a long and thin bar. Here I intend to define the properties of explosive material. The explosive material used in this question is composition B, which is a compound of RDX and TNT. I will click on Create Interaction, select Surface to Surface, Contact, and Continue. I will select the top and side surfaces of explosive material, Done. Click on Surface, then click on Invert Display. Select the lower and side surfaces of copper liner, Done and OK in this manner. Click on Save Part. Enter approximate global size equal to one millimeter. Then click on Save Edge. Select these two lines. Done. Enter approximate element size equal to 0 0.4 millimeters and OK. I will click on Assign Mesh Control, select Structure and then Quad and OK. Then I will click on Mesh Part and Yes. I will click on Assign Element Type, select Liner, Done. Put the Element Library on Explicit and OK. Here, you can observe the deformation of the explosive material and copper liner. When the explosive explodes, a lot of pressure is applied to the back of the liner, which pushes the liner forward very quickly. And as you observe here, the maximum speed is nearly 5,000 meters per second that the liner can pierce all types of armors alloys and hard targets at such an enormous speed. As it can be observed here, the initial shape of liner is 
conical. And after the detonation, the liner is converted into a long thin bar. And you can observe here the final geometric shape of the liner. and click on plot. As it can be observed, the ultimate speed of liner is about 5000 meters per second. That is so high, which can easily pierce into any target and cause it hurt the targets. As you can see here, the initial shape of liner is in form of a hollow cone, which is converted into a long thin bar following the detonation. As mentioned before, the final shape and ultimate speed of liner are greatly dependent on initial geometric shape of liner. That is, if the angle of the tip of the cone changes, the final speed and final shape of the liner will change drastically.